Yo, what's going on guys? R.I.P. here using that max power return on YouTube. I apologize if there is a loud beeping noise in the back room every once in a while. But, um, back room, wow. In the background. Uh, if you can hear my dogs most of the time, I would assume you could hear that beeping. It's pretty annoying, but uh, I hope the music in the background will be able to drown that out a bit. And I do apologize in advance for that. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. So, today we are going to be starting the OU Suspect Test. Of course, you know... Knowing me, I'm not going to finish it, but I'm going to do at least three lives inside of it uh, because I have three different teams that I want to show you guys. So this is number one. Um, I, I, I decided I woke up this morning and I was like, Mega Ampharos is my mascot and I haven't used it in forever. So I thought I might as well go ahead and build around it. And I decided to get cute and make a trick room team. So yeah, we got a trick room team. <laughs> I have very, very low expectations and low hope, but this is going to be low ladder because I've only done two battles in the suspect test. And to be honest, I only did those two battles to attempt to get myself um, a little bit higher so that when I did do a live session, it wouldn't be a bad battle. But the battles I did do were actually very good, so I'm, I'm confused, a little bit confused. Anyway, don't forget to hit that like button if you do enjoy the video, and uh, let's move on. As I'm, as I. So I, I think I've told you guys I'm going to try to upload every two days, uh, this way you got something new uh, at least three times a week, at the very least. And yeah, so let's go ahead and look at the team builder. So we have, aw oh, damn, I had the whole uh, thing to, okay, uh, Breezy Beautiful Cover Girl, Ampharos, uh, Mega Ampharos, I'm sorry, I, I screwed that up. Anyway, we have Thunderbolt, Focus Blast, uh, Dragon Balls, Volt Switch, uh, almost forgot to put this at zero. Zero speed IVs. Uh, Volt Switch is in place of what would normally be agility on this set because it's a trick room team. So I've got Volt Switch on it in case I really need to get out and I don't really want to take any damage from whatever. Unless it's like something like Landorus T, in which case I just have to pull a hard switch into like um, Conkleder or my um, or Slowbro. That's really it. Those are my only options. <laughs> uh, Gothitelle isn't a bad option as well, but U turn or knock off is going to do a considerable amount to my Gothitelle, and I do not need to be getting knocked off with it because, well, you'll see in a second. So, Goth Gal, my Gothitelle with a Chesto, uh, Resto Chesto with Shadow Tag, a Trick Room, Side Shot, Combine, and Rest. Uh, just so I customize EVs a little bit. Uh, put a little bit into special attack and 240 into physical defense because that's where I'm going to be taking more of my hits from. And I've already got a pretty solid special defense stat on it. And uh, yeah, Combine Sweeper ish. So we also have a second Trick Room Sweater in Slowbro with Trick Room Skull, Slack Off, and Psy Shock. Um, mainly physically defensive, but with a little bit of special attack, special defense investment to round them off at 200 and 240 respectively. This originally was going to be a Scarfed Landorus, but instead of running Scarfed, I decided I wanted to go with um, something that had Stealth Rock, just to, um, damn, uh, what was I going to say? Oh uh, yeah, I realized this team didn't have any Stealth Rock, and Sashed Pokemon are a problem. When I do have two Pokemon with priority though, so I guess that's not really an issue. And with Trick Room up, I do not really have a problem with Bird Spam, because of um, Azumarill's Aqua Jet will be, doing, will be going first in the trick room. With uh, having priority and being slower in trick room, well, it does allow Azumarill to be faster, I guess. I don't have zero speed EVs on my Landorus T because I really don't need it to be that slow. It was, as I said, it was originally supposed to be Choice Scarfed, so it could be my one mod that I don't need trick room for. And yeah, so Lando Griffin. Uh, yeah, I went through the moves. So we have the Rock Conkle there with uh, Assault Vest Guts, Knock Off, Mop Punch, Drain Punch, and Ice Punch. Its speed is already low enough to the point where I really didn't think that it would benefit from getting lowered anymore. So I don't have it at zero IVs, but it really doesn't, I don't know. Uh, I guess it wouldn't hurt. I guess it's just in case I get out of Trick Room uh, for things like uh, Farathorn and whatnot. I don't know, but most well, a lot will run Gyro Ball, which will bring their IVs down to zero anyway. So, I don't know what the issue there was. <laughs> and finally we have Pony Girl, my Azumarill, stay golden Pony Girl. Uh, also Assault Vest with huge power, Aqua Jet, Waterfall, Superpower, and Play Rough. Pretty straightforward as well, same thing as the Rock, only it's a little bit faster so it's a little bit more, um, it looks a little bit better. So yeah, that's the team. We got Breezy, beautiful Cover Girl and all highlighting the team and hopefully we can get some wins this bat this time around but don't expect too much from me it's my first time legitimately playing with the trick room um theme i guess so i will be back in just a moment and then we will start the live 
All right, so we're back. <laughs> Took a minute for me to get uh, ready. So yeah, we got ourselves a pretty interesting team across from us with uh, Roserade, Florges, which people have said that really doesn't belong in OU whatsoever. Nice and clean. I'm really liking. Ever since I installed this new antivirus, like my computer has been godlike. So I cannot complain. Um, I could lead with Gothitelle and attempt to trap something, but I do not need his Sneasel, uh, his Weavile, excuse me, leading off and completely bodying. He can body my team with Weavile, so I would assume he would lead with it. Uh, it's probably his best lead. I could leave my Azumarill. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave my Azumarill because I could do damage on I have the potential to do damage on any Pokemon he decides to send in. I'm going to start that timer real quick, and we'll get right into the battle. Hopefully, he gets ready soon. This is nice and crisp. I like this. I just gonna lead straight away with his Meloetta. So, um, Meloetta not, doesn't have super paper thin defenses, but it, it'll it hit me pretty damn hard <laughs> in return. Oh, oh, I was about to say, I didn't put huge power on this, I was about to cry. Um, so, play, he, he could switch into his Roserade. That, was, that would actually be the best oppor uh, wow, opportunity. That'd be the best option for him. But because Roserade does not really have much physical defense at all, I could just go ahead and fire off a play rough just in case he decides to stay in. Uh, that would help me out quite a bit. Uh, see if he decides to go for a. Uh, see what he wants to do. As he goes for Relic Song, that's going to be a very bad thing for him because play rough is going to one hit KO for sure now because um, the Meloetta was a fighting type. So that was a very poor play on his part, and uh, I can already see how this battle is going to go. Or at least what it looks like it might go. So if he goes to anything other than Roserade, thank you. Thank you. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and go into Gothgal now. Because so I can take out this Roserade, and basically allows my Azumarill to uh, take out everything else. Uh, if, he, if he's smart, you'd see that coming and switch back and switch out into Weavile. But um, he can't... Ah, that was a beautiful play. There we go. You see? That's the play I want to see. That's what I want to see from you people. Alright, so Azumarill is the only real switch and I have back into it. I also do have Conkle there. Um, yeah, let's go to Conkle there. Conkle is a better switch because I can do something... I can do a little bit more in return, I guess. And I do have um, priority on it as well. If he goes for knockoff, that's fine. If, he goes for if he's a Pursuit Trapper, that's fine too. So, he goes for the knockoff. That's fine, that's fine, fine, fine. And he's a Life Orb Weavile, so I'm actually in a decent position. I'm going to go for a knockoff myself. Because uh, the floor just is obviously going to come in. And yeah, get the leftovers off of it. And yeah, I'm, pr I'm not going to end up using Trick Room. And I'm going to be very sad because that's the, that's the reason this team is made this way. <laughs> that's literally the only reason this team was made. As it goes to his Garchomp instead. Wow, that was a crit. Rough skin, Rocky Helmet. Yeah, that's why. Okay, so. Do we sack here or do I just go for Ice Punch? This is a physically defensive Garchomp, so I'm unsure what to do, actually. I could go for um, an Ice Punch here and switch into Lando, attempt to get my rocks up, as he has nothing that can get them off the field, except for, well, he does have that um, Blastoise, but that gives me a free turn to switch into my Ampharos, who when it KOs it with uh, whatever. Yeah, and I can't get one KO'd in return with Ice Beam because I'm not four times to I because I four times um because it's not four times super effective. So I'm gonna go straight for an Ice Punch instead of going for um so switching around. There's really no point to me keeping around my Conkle there except for uh, priority. As he goes for Stealth Rock, probably uh he might have been predicting me to switch out, but I really didn't care at this point. So now he's down to he's down um <laughs> now he's down six four. Um, I would assume he would bring back, he would bring out his uh, Blastoise here, that, or his, um, yeah, there we go, his Blastoise. So, I don't know what I, what wants to happen here. Uh, most, some Blast, well, a lot of Blastoise, Mega Blastoise uh, especially, will carry Dark Pulse, and Slowbro is not looking like a good switching for that. Azumarill is literally the only switch I have in on this Pokemon, so that's what we're going to do. And... I would assume he would try to bait the switch again. If I go into his world now, uh, I go for play rough on whatever. And, um. What? What the hell? You just said JK lag. Okay then. Uh, what is he doing? He goes for Scald, don't you dare. Ah, that's nice. Alright, let's go for play rough here. Uh, it, it's a 2 at KO at this point. If he doesn't burn me anyway, if he does, that's going to suck so much. <laughs> it's really going to put a damper on my mood and this game. Please don't. Yes. Alright. 
Wow, never mind. I said it was gonna be a two-hit KO. I lied to myself. Oh boy, did I lie to myself. Um, I do have Congolor for priority, I guess. Hmm. I could lose to that Weavile. That's a problem. It literally bodies the rest of this team. Alright, alright, alright. I can't switch out, though. That's the thing. I have a... I have... Because I'm going to need a zoom roll if I'm going to take out this Weavile. I'm really in a lot of trouble here. <laughs> Without the fog, especially. Um, Lander's T is pretty useless in this battle. I'm not sure if a Skull will one-hit me or not. I mean, it's a stab from a Mega Blastoise. I'm just going to Ampharos here. That's my, that's my best option. Now, Mega Evolve and Volt switch out into whatever. And I'm lagging, of course. As he goes into his Roserade now, predicting, I don't know, whatever. But um, I am going to get it for free Omega Evolution. And just Volt switch out. Because I am slower. I could Volt switch into my um, Gothitelle, or he could predict that switch and go into his Weavile. So as he goes, as he gets the spikes off, I'm going to go into Gothitelle now, and that's going to help me out quite a bit because now I can get some Trick Room going on and whatnot. And yeah, now Rosary is out here at my mercy. No Lamborghini. Um, <laughs> so first I'm going to go for Trick Room, uh, just in case it does come to the point where I need to rest. Uh, go for Trick Room first, and I'm going to go for uh, Calm Mind once, just so I can get the Psy Shock off. Actually, you know what? The best option of the episode... Wow. Okay. Okay, Flown. Uh, I'll let you do your thing first. <laughs> uh, let me check Rosary's defense. As he actually goes for Spikes this turn instead. <sighs> hmm. So I'm gonna go for combine. I think I should have. I think I should have had a fourth move instead of rest. But um, I'll go for one combine here, and I'll go for the side shock. This whole team loses to Weavile. So I really just need this to go away. Uh, I need Weavile to go away. As it goes for stun spore, that that actually helped me to be honest. Uh, so I can take out Roserade here with the side shock more than likely. Hopefully, stab plus one. Um. Psy shock. Hopefully, I don't get paralyzed this turn. That would suck so. M not even. Not even gonna say anything. Not even gonna say anything. What I'm actually gonna do? Are you kidding me? Are you really kidding me right now? <sighs> I hate this game. Let's go for rest. And of course, of course, I want I want to go for rest so I can get Trick Room up next turn. But no, can't even do that. Oh my lord! Huh. <sighs> I hate this game so much. Sometimes, let me tell you, let me tell you how much I hate this game. Sometimes. Uh, he could also go into Blastoise here. I there is no point to me keeping this thing around. There literally is no point. Um, Slowbro is actually a decent switch now because I have Hella Defense, and there really is. There was no point to me keeping this around. Like, I'm so mad. I'm literally so mad. That was so stupid. <sighs> Showdown lag. I hate that. <sighs> I'm angry. I see just gonna go for knockoff on my um thing. Yeah, I can't even play this game anymore. <laughs> I'm really not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. I'm really upset right now. Like, so upset. It's just ridiculous how upset I am. I think Azumarill gets killed in one hit. I'm I'm so stupid. Why would I... Uh, why did I not click rest first? That was so dumb. I should have just clicked rest, gotten that over with, and then life would have been perfectly fine for me. But of course, I can't do that. So now I have to hope Slowbro can live a and um, a knockoff. And if you can't, I just lose the game. So there's that. Yeah, I'm at 63%. I'm not living a knockoff. There really is nothing that I can do for this now. This is so stupid. Unless I can get a trick room up. Unless my physical defense pulls through and I can get a trick room up. 
But this is a Life Orb Weavile. I'm not going to live a knockoff from it. I will literally not live it. There's no point to me even thinking I might live it. So, I'm just going to pause until he makes his move. And he decides to go into Forges. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Why would you even... Why? 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 Why would you give me this opportunity? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to do now. Uh, I could go into Landorus and just Earthquake everything. Oh, who's calling me in the studio? I'm really gonna kill this man. Namda. Yes, you. You know who you are. You're probably gonna watch this. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and... Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do now. Let's go for Scald. I really, I have nothing for Forges either. Uh, except for Azumarill, but Azumarill's gonna get bodied the next time it even switches in. So... This phone is really gonna get me in trouble one day, I swear. And of course I'm lagging. I get the crit? Do I get the burn? No, I don't. And I lose. I lose, I lose, I lose, I lose, I lose, I lose, I lose. I lose, I lose, I lose, I lose, I lose, I lose, I lose. I lose. No, never mind. Landorus. I'll get my regenerator boost back with my slow bro. Just EQ everything. As he goes for Moonblast this turn. Yes, that affects me. I'm gonna go ahead and Earthquake. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm faster than this. Wow. I mean, I'm slower than this, I guess. So uh, let's go, uh, let's just Earthquake. I I'm, I'm stupid, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid, I am so dumb, I am so dumb. And he switches! Thank you! <laughs> this helped so much. This helped so much, so, so much, so much, so much, so, so much. Um, fuck it, I'll leave it in. There really is no point to me switching out, or attempting to switch out. Damn, that only did 37%. This is max adamant. What the hell? Uh, Ampharos. Hopefully I can pull off. <laughs> Hopefully I can pull this off. You can't KO me, at least I don't think so. Um, <laughs> Oh my gosh, 51, yeah, the Ice Beam's gonna take me out pretty pretty quickly. Yeah, I lose here. Damn, it was fun while it lasted though. There was hope when he switched out his Weavile. Of course, the one team, the first team I play on the ladder has a Weavile. Like, what are the odds? I'm just gonna Vault Switch out on this Blastoise. It goes for Scald instead of going for uh, Ice Beam. Guess he's not carrying it. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back into my um, Slowbro. As Ampharos and Azumarill combined can finish can finish the game if Slowbro can get its act together. Um, actually, not even. I think I'm gonna have a, I'll take Azumarill out first. Yeah, let's go. Let's let Azumarill out first. Oh, damn it! I'm sorry. You guys weren't supposed to do that. Um, <laughs> uh, let me see. Let me see. I'm not even gonna bother blocking that. There was really no point to like. Are you kidding me? That was a- Wow, I'm stupid. I'm so stupid. There was literally no point to that. Ah! I suck. I suck at Trick Room. I literally suck at Trick Room. Like, never- tell, t Remind me to never play this tier again. I mean, not tier. Remind me never to play this playstyle again. Like, I am so bad. This is, this is a good game. I swear, if you don't have Ice, ice Shard, I'm going to, like, kill you. Like, that's ridiculous. Um... Trick Room, if he KOs, it's fine. I really don't care. Because I lose the game here. Yep. Rocky Helmet. And Life Orb. Alright, good game. Yeah, that was a disaster. It was an absolute disaster. That was a travesty. <laughs> I suck. Um, okay. So I guess we will uh, pick back up in the next battle. You pretty much know what's going to happen here. I'm going to go for Mock Punch. And he's going to go for Ice Shard. But he's actually gonna pull a switch into his floor just and be a jerk like that, just because he wants me to um, suffer. Oh, never mind. Just the eye shard straight away. <laughs> and um, yeah, Ampharos guys on switching. So that's a good game. We're gonna pause until we um, get into the next battle because once I switch it in, whenever Showdown decides to stop lagging, it, once I switch it in, it's just going to get bodied by the hazards. So 
I really wish I had accounted for a defogger on this team <laughs> or a spinner, but that's fine. I wanted to use Starmie, but it's way too damn fast for this team. So uh, I'll be back. All right, and we're back against a. This is a pretty fast team. I'm not gonna lie. I could probably do some work with Trick Room in this team. Um, so what am I gonna do here? Uh, light part is an issue, but not too much. Not really. No dark types on this team, and no dark type moves as far as I know. As long as this uh, Ferrothorn doesn't have knockoff, which some tend to carry, I really won't, wouldn't know. But um, I think what I'll actually do here is lead off my Lander's T. I could either U-turn or Stealth Rock, uh, whatever I want to do there. If he does lead off with his Light Part, I'll just U-turn out because uh, it'll probably go for Taunt turn one, as he actually leads with his Aerodactyl, and I this is an advantage for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and go straight for Stealth Rock here. As I do want to break the multi-scale on that Dragonite, and um, if he thinks I'm going to go for Stone Edge to try to uh, activate weakness policy, that could be something that he's looking for. Uh, but that's not what I'm going to do, so... I don't know. I don't want to go for Stone Edge turn 1, though. I don't want him to know that... One, I don't want him to know that I have it, which means... which would... Um, actually, never mind. Stealth Rock basically shows him that I'm not a... Um, <laughs> that I'm not a Scarfed Landorus T. But uh, he's probably going to pull a switch into his Keldeo here. That would probably be his best option because I cannot touch Aerodactyl with uh, Earthquake. And Stone Edge is uh, resisted by Keldeo. So that would actually be his best switch in. Considering that um, I won't do much to it. And he can one hit KO me in return. Uh, whether or not he's Scarf Respects, that remains unknown. So I'm going to pause until he makes the movie. taking quite a bit of time. And we're already at 21 minutes. So okay, he make goes for Rock Slide instead. And flinches me. Are you a King's Rock Aerodactyl? I'm really going to punch you in the face. And real if if I if I meet you, I'm going to punch you in the face here. If you're running a King's Rock Aerodactyl, like we are really we're going to throw hands, and I am going to punch you in the face. Like that's that's no. Okay, there's a Stealth Rock. So I'm going to go straight for Stone Edge here. I really don't care if he switches out. Um, if he switches out, it will be into his. Uh, it will be into his Keldeo or his Ferrothorn. That made no sense. That play right there as now Aerodactyl is gone, so I don't understand what you were trying to do there, but yeah, didn't work. <laughs> um, so Aerodactyl, I'm off to a fast start again, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up losing, watch, watch, watch by the end of this, I'm gonna end up like, I'm gonna end up losing really, really badly, <laughs> like really badly. So um, there's Ferrothorn, uh, I could just go for U-turn, I, I don't want to go for U-turn because he's got the um, Iron Barbs. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Iron Barbs. Shout out to the Barbs. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> so what I'm going to do here is actually go into my... Um, let's go to Ampharos. Let's go into Easy Breezy Beautiful Cover Girl. And then Mega Evolution right quick. Uh, nothing resists it. So I can actually just go... For, I'll go straight for Focus Blast turn 1. Um, wow, that's annoying. Probably just going to go for... Um, I would assume he would go for the protect here, but I'm just going to go for focus blast regardless. Uh, no matter what he sends in, he's going to be taking a decent amount from fo focus blast considering um, as he does go for protect, as I thought he would. Um, so I'm just going to volt switch out here actually, because uh, focus blast is very threatening to his Ferrothorn. Um, I would assume he would want to make a switch into his uh, Dragonite here, as Alakazam really. Well, Alakazam is probably. is more than likely. Uh, Oh, actually, no, Alakazam is his Mega. So, yeah, his Alakazam is uh, probably... I don't even know what I'm trying to say anymore. Let's just let's just pause and sleep. As I predict wrong. Of course, that's how it usually happens, right? That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Why am I faster? Oh, right, because I decided to keep speed... Oh, wait, no, I didn't keep speed on you. What the hell? Yeah, but you're, like, a lot slower. So, Conkledor, I guess. I'm so mad that I didn't just go for Focus Blast again. I got out predicted. I got outplayed. What's that home? What the hell? This man needs to stop. Stop PMing me. <sighs> no, let me stop. <laughs> I'm sorry, Albert. Uh, so let's go for Drain Punch. Damn, he's gonna like. He's gonna hurt me when I, whenever, whatever happens. So go for Drain Punch. And wow, that did not do what I thought it would do. And your Rocky Helmet. Of course you are, right? And of course your Spike Stack too. And of course, now I have to waste another 16% dealing with you with Mock Punch. So, now I'm annoyed and freaking... I don't even know how... I don't even know what to say anymore. Like, I, the first two teams I see on the ladder are Spike and... are um, Hazard Stack teams and... 
of course it's the one time I don't I use a team that doesn't utilize defog or rapid spin and no one's had any rapid spin block and no one's had any spin blockers and I've wanted to use a rapid spin star me in a lot for, for a while as he goes into Dragonite that made no sense what are you doing why would you even risk that <sighs> are you gonna Dragon Dance or something like I have ice punch I mean Granted that Max is not gonna do enough. Oh man, he might he might he might be luring me right here into going for the ice punch. Either that or he's just gonna dragon dance like a fool, but that makes no sense. I'm sorry, I'm just really, really upset right now. <laughs> I'm really upset I I decided not to make that play, but otherwise I probably would have missed that focus blast. If I'm being honest with myself, I would have missed that focus blast. So um Yeah. Let me check Skype because, you know, that's what we do in live sessions. That's what we do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause because this is really you taking a long ass time. As he goes for. A and of course, he gets to flinch. Every. Oh my god. What is wrong with this game? Oh my lord. Ah, uh, can't deal with this drama. Um, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna click Ice Punch again. I'm All right, so I landed a freaking Ice Punch. So that's fine, that's dandy. Um, how much Ferrothorn is nine percent? No, it shouldn't have. It should have like three or six. Either way, it'll go down to uh, rocks when it comes back in, since he doesn't have a Defogger. So Light Hard here, Light Hard here. Let's go for Mock Punch. It's a very um. Prankster, see so he wants to go for Torment. I mean, well, he can't go for Torment because I used Ice Punch last turn, so it really won't matter. So he's gonna go for Substitute. I don't understand why. I'm just gonna continue going for Mock Punch. <laughs> so, um, there really was no point to him even pulling the switch. Uh, he could go back into his Ferrothorn. It's at 9%. Of course it is. Of course it is. As he. Wow. That was actually a pretty decent strategy until he realized it was only gonna do like 3 damage. So. <laughs> This is probably going to be the last battle of the session. I am highly upset. I didn't even get to use Trick Room in this battle. Like, I am the worst Trick Room user of all time. Go ahead and quote that. Alright, so he forfeited. That's it. I'm done. I'm out. I'm I'm not even going to, like, make a proper outro. I'm upset. I'm... Nah, let me stop. <laughs> this is Pokemon. But I do hope you guys enjoyed laughing at my pain in that first battle. And, uh... Weavile needs to go somewhere. Um, I will actually make a better attempt at making a Trick Room team in the future. One that one where Gothitelle can actually keep its regular job and not be a Trick Room setter. And uh, yeah, that's that pretty much. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until we meet again, alright, peace out. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that sub button if you're new. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.